politics, entertainment stories, current affairs, and exclusive interviews. Welcome. 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 On The Buzz UG with, with Melanz Mino, Mino, a.k.a. Fuller. Well, a very good morning. Thank you so much for joining in once again. This is uh, The Buzz UG and uh, my name is Melanz Milo aka Fula. In case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and also uh, tap on the bell for all the notifications. Now, John Sentamu, the young man who joked about the skin color of the Speaker of Parliament, the Right Honorable Anita Monk, has been involved in a nasty accident. Reports indicate that he was on the way to visit his family when the accident happened. He's presently admitted in hospital where he's receiving treatment. We wish him a very quick recovery. Now, the Deputy Speaker of Parliament, the Right Honorable Thomas Tayebua, at the Assembly of Interparliamentary Union in Bahrain, has appealed to the international community to stop meddling in the internal affairs of the sovereign states. It should be remembered that so many international players, including the Human Rights Watch, have discredited the Ugandan government for proposing a bill that criminalizes homosexuality, which in the eyes of the donors qualifies to be a human right. Now, a senior police officer identified as Musa Kayongo has accused the state minister for works, the Honorable Musa Echweru, for beating him up and has reported the case at Soroti Police Station. Now, Kayonko alleges that the minister attacked him on his way from Kampala to Karamoja after his driver accidentally knocked some cows around a Woja bridge. Some Ugandans who have heard about this story on different social media platforms have blamed the minister for beating up the police officer even if he was in wrong. The investigations into this matter have already commenced. <laughs> Now, students of Chamate SS in Tunkamo District, Western Uganda, have been charged with murder, attempted murder, and 175 other counts of malicious damage to property following last month's fire that left one of the colleagues burned to death. The suspects reportedly tied their fellow student on the bed before pouring petrol on the two dormitories and setting them on fire in revenge for bullying and suspicion of one of the suspected bullies. They have been remanded to Ntunkamo government prison until the 27th this month when they will return to court for mention of their case. Yeah, that is the latest update on the Buzz UG. And in case you haven't subscribed, kindly go right ahead and subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melads Milo, a.k.a. Fula, and it's a bye for now. Thank you. Audio Jungle.